Hi, my name is Mirisa and in this video I would like to share with you the products that I got from Shantakai's latest limited edition collection. They call it the Hummingbird Collection and I know that I'm pretty late. These products probably were released about one month ago but they are so lovely and I do appreciate and wholeheartedly support their philanthropical causes and this one in particular which is to support the rainforest in the Amazon and I do wholeheartedly support this cause so I didn't want to pass without giving my small contribution for it so if you are interested just keep on watching First I would like to thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video. If you already are one of my subscribers I would like to thank you very much for your support. If you are new to my channel welcome, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel as well. You just need to click on the subscribe button below and to click as well on the ring bell button in order to be notified whenever I place a new video. For all of you, please feel free to leave your comments below. It's really a big pleasure and highly motivating for me to see them, to reply to them and, if possible, to follow your suggestions. The second point I would like to say is this video is not made in partnership or sponsored by Shantakai. For those of you that have been following me, you know that I always make a review on Shantakai's limited editions because I really like their products. They have extremely high quality, they are very flattering for all skins, but especially on the more mature ones. And also, and probably the most important factor for me, or at least equally important, is that they always give part of their profits to a philanthropical cause with these limited editions. In this one, as I said in the introduction, a part of the profit with the lipsticks is going to Amazon conservation team in order to help protect the rainforest and the habitat of the hummingbird. This little bird has a very special emotional meaning for me because I had the opportunity to see them when I visited the north of Mexico and the Copper Canyon. And I was mesmerized by their beautiful colors the way they shimmer and the way they fly. The collection includes one face perfecting powder, two eyeshadow quads and four lipsticks. And I confess that I went a little bit overboard to say it like this and I couldn't control myself and I got everything. So, let me show them. This is the Face Perfecting Powder. The complete name is Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And this, just like the eyeshadows and the lipsticks, all of them are made in Italy. The packaging is similar, all in very vibrant colors to emulate the, the color palette of the Amazon and this powder has the same mandala pattern printed on the surface of the powder just like the one that was on their summer collection on the bronzers, the Sirena and the Goa bronzers and just like this ones, this is a baked jelly formula. It's very soft but it's not powdery. So to take this one we need to use a brush that is not very 
soft or else it will not pick it very easily and if you remember the powders that were released in their latest collections I have two of them here so this one was the one last holiday collection and this gorgeous one was the one that was released for Shantikai celebration of 20 years and it's the one that has the pearls on the surface of the compact the formula from the one that was released now is different from this tube this when you touch it it feels almost like a cream it's so silky while this one feels like a baked gel formula powder very soft as well but not as creamy to the touch as the moonlit pearl glow powder and the eclat du face powder also these two have shimmer very discreet shimmer but they do have and you can see it while this is a matte one and it's not a flat matte, it has some luminosity to it, but it doesn't have any shimmer whatsoever. And also it has this peachy tone. I find this one, the one that I reach out much more than I reach out for these two, no matter how much I love them, because it's really imperceptible in the skin and the slight peach tone actually is good to to bring light to the face i also find it good to put on the under eye area if you have an oily t-zone like me or if you really have an oily skin don't use this one to to blot it you really need to reach out for a powder that has more mattifying abilities this is really um, a perfecting a blurring powder much like the hourglass ones the hourglass finishing powders but this one doesn't have that slight shimmer that the hourglass has in order for you to be able to evaluate the shades i have swatched them These are the two eyeshadow quads that they have released in this collection. They named them the Warm Quartet and the Cool Quartet, considering their color stories. I was debating with myself if I should show them, swatch them and apply them in one video or separate them in two. And I finally decided that I'm going to make two, starting with the warm one. The cool quartet I'm going to show you on the video that I will publish on Wednesday or Thursday. And the reason for that is that the eyeshadows on the quartets are very interesting because they have a mixture of textures. There's a matte eyeshadow, a shimmery metallic one, and these two eyeshadows have very particular textures. This is a duochrome and this one is a very reflective, almost like a topper eyeshadow, but, but with a little bit more pigment. And I find that we can, well, up to the moment I made three different looks with this one and I'm sure if I wanted I could continue a little bit more. So in order for the videos not to be too big I will separate them but I'll show you as well the cool quartet and in this one this is a shimmer eyeshadow very lightly but it is it's not a complete matte like in the warm quad this is also a duochrome and this is a beautiful duochrome it looks pink in some colors but it shifts from pink to green this is a deep purple and this is a very light a shimmery pink champagne pink they are very beautiful and i think the inspiration for these quads are 
the colors of the hummingbirds and the way they shine and flicker in the light and they definitely achieve that. If you have uh, one of the vanishing spinach, spinach. If you have one of the vanishing species eyeshadows, you know these ones that were released last year. They are slightly different in to the touch. The eyeshadows on these quartets are more creamy to the touch than these ones, but this is just an observation it does not reflect in their performance whatsoever they are equally beautiful and finally the lipsticks and i cannot show you all the colors now i will show them all in the second video because three of the lipsticks got holes in the delivery i don't understand why so the lipstick comes in a matching green packaging. This is the packaging of the lip veil, so magnetic. But the formula of these lipsticks from this collection is the lip chic, not the lip veil. The lip veils are probably the lipsticks that I wear the most. I have been adding them to my collection and I probably have about six at the moment and I really really love them because they are very moisturizing and hydrating and I find that despite that the color doesn't fade immediately so I really love them and now that I found the lip cheeks I think this are going to be totally my go-to holy grail combo of lipsticks the lip cheeks and the lip veils because these ones have instead of a more pigmented formula they are more glossy and very very hydrating so this is the perfect lipsticks for the everyday use and to have on your wallet and reach out if your lips are getting on the dry side Chantecaille lipsticks are probably the products from them that I use the most by far by far and I would say that in terms of lipsticks it's the lip cheeks and the lip veils from Chantecaille the Rouge Allure from Chanel and the um, lipsticks from uh, Lisa Eldridge when I want that special color that I have in mind, like the reds from her or the Velvet Myth and the Velvet Decade when I want to reach out for a more unusual color. Okay, so let me show you now the swatches from the Warm Quartet and the looks that I have made with it. So you know that I typically go for the cooler shades but this time I want to go out of my comfort zone and do initially a very warm look so I'm going to use only these three shades and starting with the matte brown I'm going to place this on my crease and I really like this matte eyeshadows from Chantecaille. I find that they are very pigmented and they blend very well. This brown is very creamy, not much fallout. I'm going to use a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to intensify like this. I want the color to stay on the crease. Nice! The other eye. Now I'm going to use a flat shader and I'm going into this shimmery metallic. It's 
very pretty. Today I forgot to put the concealer or a primer to mattify and uniform the color of my eyelids. So I'm actually going to wet the eyeshadow. If I had placed a little bit of concealer or primer, the, my eyelid would be a little bit lighter and so the, this metallic eyeshadow would stand out more. So my idea is to see if I can get the same impact with this eyeshadow by wetting it. Well, it's definitely more shiny. I'm going to use another small brush. This one is actually a pencil brush and I'm going to apply this duochrome shade in the inner corner and I'm going to use the smaller brush that I used before and I'm going to apply a little bit more of the matte brown on the outside corner like this now I'm going to use my Barbarella Brown from Charlotte Tilbury on the waterline and in between my lashes just on the outer half and I'm going to smudge it with another pencil brush just because I don't want any harsh line and also because it helps the pencil to feel the, the texture a little bit on the bottom as well I don't have much fallout but I'm going to clean the little bit that I have which are some small shimmery particles and I'm going to place my concealer, mascara and I'll be right back. So this is how it looks with mascara and eyeliner and concealer. I'm going to apply now the powder. I have to say I already used it in my under eye area. I find it because it's matte and it has a peachy tone that it looks good in the under eye area. I can just passing through with my finger on it. I can take the most minuscule amount to pat it in the under eye in order not to overdo it. It seems to work very well. I'm going to apply it now all over the face for you to see. I find this powder to be the most invisible on the skin of all the, the powders that Shantakai has released. So I quite like it and I like the slight peachy tone that it has as well. Just a little bit more on the forehead. And now I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use my Chantecaille Sirena bronzer, which is also a baked gelée. I think I will have bronzer for till the end of my days. I've used it immensely and you can still see the, the print on it. This color in particular is very light and because I cannot pick a huge amount of product there's no worries that I will overdo it, which sometimes I confess it happens. And now I'm going to use one of these Shantakai blushes. So I'm going to use the B. This is just, a, I bought a, an empty palette from Shantakai and then I place all their blushes in it, the chic shades. And I'm sure they will release more colors sometime, so I will feel it completely. I like these blushes, they are very pretty, very pigmented. They blend very well in the skin. This one actually has a little bit of shimmer, very slight. And it's the type of shimmer that I can live with in my cheeks. a little bit higher like in the place where we would put the highlighter now I'm going to place 
I'm not going to use the one from the new collection. I'm going to use Honey Pot. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to see which one is the warmer from this lip veils. It's not Honey Pot, it's Beobop. Actually, no. I'm going to use the latest one, which is Tamboti with the lip sheet from Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude. So, this is the final look. What do you think? And that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are interested on the cool quartet and on swatches and applications of the four lipsticks, press on the ring bell button to be notified for my next video. I will publish it probably on Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you very much for watching once more and see you soon. Bye!